What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sea of Stars. Last time, we went to try to stop the Dweller of Woe from uh, consuming a person. We did not succeed, and then Garl was taken hostage, and Sarai saved him. Well, temporarily. So now, Sarai has joined the party, and we've arrived at the Necromancer's Lair. Well, a flood graveyard. On the way to the Necromancer's Lair, let's see what happens next. Wait, what is that email? <laughs> peep, peep, a vampire. When do we add that? I don't remember adding that. All right, that's probably the right way to get. What's down here? Secrets. Onions. Oh, is there like a way down? Huh. There's a reason you can jump off right there, obviously. What the hell is that? Maybe just letting you interact with the environment. Oh, here we go. Oh, I wonder if you miss a jump or something if you fall down here. There, see those pillars? We saw one of those earlier. There must be a way to interact with them. Maybe? I could just be making that up though also. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I have to go around to the boat. To the ferry, sorry. Some fries. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? I don't like this layout. Miniature moons each protect allies from a single hit and heal slightly. Oh shit, that's cool. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that email, Allison? I don't like not seeing the enemy's health. That was probably overkill right there. Wow, did not do that right. God damn it. Don't chop me, somebody. Oh, that's good. What's up, Sun Showers? Welcome to the stream. You don't like bones in your potatoes? Boneless, oh, you don't like bones in your potatoes? Boneless is the way to go, and preferably plant-based. I agree. Quick, kill Super Shiggy and her plants. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do now. I guess we're gonna fight this one over here. Also, if I don't, I think I already said it, but Sun Showers, welcome to the stream. I actually did a combo right there instead and killed this guy. We've, it's probably overkill right now, but it's fine. Oh, you're not dead yet. Shit. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to figure out the timing. So what's the premise of this game? So, think like a combination of... Well, it's kind of like Chrono Trigger mixed with um, Paper Mario in the combat department. But the idea, Sun Shower, is we are solstice warriors trying to protect the planet from dwellers that the... Some kind of not necromancer, meat mancer, what the hell? Some kind of big bad is doing something, okay, and put these dwellers on the planet, and we're trying to stop the last one right now. Um, we're very early in the game, probably less than, we're less than 10 hours in already, right now at this point. So it's still very early. We just got our fourth party member. We're trying to save one of our other party members that was under, flesh mancer, thank you, Cookie. One of our party members is currently under a spell that we're trying to save them from, from the dweller, because the dweller is going to consume them otherwise. 
So currently we are trying to save them. But combat wise, think Chrono Trigger mixed with Paper Mario. And it has incredible pixel art and music. Onions. That's probably my, the best TLDR that I can give you right now. It's very good so far. Yeah, it's an indie game too, if you're wondering. Very well done so far. Oh, that's a friend, I guess. Uh, greetings, I am the keeper of this graveyard. I suggest you turn back as soon as possible for the mistress of this place is not fond of, is not fond of company. Oh. Well, I, I assume that's where the mistress lived in there. Oh. Wait, is this the secret entrance? Hold on. Ooh, that looks creepy. Oh, we need a key item to interact with this chest that has a red... Oh! I bet you have to put, um... Hold on. Can I read any of this stuff? No. I bet you need, like, another one of those gems, or, or two gems, or... I don't know. A couple of gems, possibly, to open this chest, but to find that and come back here. Someone write that down. I think we want to go in that door right there, maybe. Hold on. That thing looks fucking creepy. What's over here, though? An ambush. Shit, I couldn't surprise them. Oh, this might be a... Whoa. Oh, are they... Wait, wait, wait. That's the first time we've seen those symbols. They have... Do they have haste? Is that what that means? I don't know when the timing is. I tried. I, I don't think I got the timing right though, obviously. Oh, and there's button commands for everything, Sun Shower. So like you can do like for example right here, I'm gonna do a double attack instead of a single attack because of the button commands I'm gonna put in. So I pressed the button right then, and that's why we attack twice instead of once. Golgol. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's do um disorient on this guy. Alright, sunball time. We're in water, so one would think it wouldn't be that effective, but apparently it still is. Soul Soul. I don't appreciate that. Two gems maybe, but to open the coffin chest and graveyard. Yeah, that's that. Thank you for writing that down, my cookie. <laughs> we might be able to kill here if I could press the right goddamn buttons. Chomp, chomp time. Go for Valir. No. Wow, I fucked that up. Holy hell, she's gone. Oh, the other one ran away. Okay. These enemies are kind of hurting a little bit. Oh, we're up above right now. Sitting or we can sell. Okay, so this is like a roundabout way to get up here. Um, we can go a different way to get there. You can probably surprise them though if you go that way. Let's drop down here though and try to get the chest over there. I like how Valir just walks normally while everyone else is focused because she's a ninja. Oh, recipe for hearty stew. Nice. There's also a cooking mechanic in the game that uh, is how you make your healing items. Peppers. Wait. No! God damn it. Oh, there's two of them, too. Okay, um. Try to kill one of these guys real quick. Three man's turn. Nice timing, me. Big heal here. There we go. Oh!
Oh, it's a random attack then? I want to learn how to do this correctly. I, is it only three times or am I doing it wrong? I must be doing it wrong. Missed it again. I'm about to watch a tutorial video on these timings. I don't want to see spoilers though, which I'm sure they'll, they'll reveal spoilers. We just made a big circle. I guess let's save while we're over here. I mean, all the enemies are cleared out now. So if we went this way, we would have ran into those guys right there. Oh. This could be a... We, we want to open these doors because they've given us loot or combos every time we found one. Um, we're just climbing up here and dropping down. Yeah. It is not, it's not a combo, but it's loot. We got a, we, oh, Shimmering Daggers, there we go. There you go, Sarai. Upgrade. Grab my charger real quick. Okay. We didn't go up here, I don't think. Right. I'm assuming there's an interaction somewhere here. Oh, uh, there's also kind of, I don't know if I would call it Metroidvania aspect, but we have like abilities we've gotten. Like we've got this, this push ability to interact with objects. I'm assuming we're going to keep continuing to get new abilities like that over time. to let us interact with different things throughout the world. So I guess that could be Metroidvania-esque. You had like a fuzz of, or hair stuck in your eye most of the day. God, does it suck. Oh, that is the worst feeling in the world. I, I know exactly what you mean, Cookie. All right, so up here, you can continue going this way, which is probably what I want to do. You should heed my words, young adventurers. To anger the mistress, mistress is to put yourselves oneself in danger, or yourselves in danger also. God, no, don't touch me. I want to surprise you. Turn around. Turn around. And they still spread out, damn it. I don't know when to press the damn button for that. It's really bothering me. Oh, does it whiff whenever he does that? Is that what that means? Oh, they don't have a lot of health, okay. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna fall. And I missed it. Nice. Oh, didn't even realize what's happening there. Alright, you're up. Let's try this Venom Flurry again. I don't know when to press it, if it's like when she goes into the hole or if it's whenever she comes at the top. Whoa, what the hell? Alright, these things just do whatever they want apparently. I'll take that as a win. Grab the wheat. Um, Alright, that's where we already were, let's jump down here. To another raft. Okay. You press when she did the peak of her jump out of the portals. Thank you, Cookie. Press square while standing on a raft to move around. Oh. Alright, first off, let's do this. Let's let's cook. We have seven. We can make some hearty stew. 90 HP. We don't need that big of a heal right now, to be honest with you guys. So let's just do an herb filet. What's with the laptop ramp being soldered? It's very annoying to see. 
Oh, that's just how they do it. That's how they build laptops for you try. I think that if you get certain gaming laptops, they're not. But for the most part, that's how they are, from what I've seen. Let's rest. Oh, you know what I should have did first? I want to try something really quick. Um, let's set up camp. Hold L1. You can't. It's by my face. You guys can't see it. I want to talk to um. Stay alert. The necromancer won't be happy to see us. A soul stone. We can do this. Ooh, I wonder if uh, if Teeks has any new stories. Hey, want to hear a story? Ah, nope. Just the Vespertine still. Okay. All right, let's rest. If you go to camp, you can talk to your party members. I just wanted to see if there's anything new there. Uh, and speci specifically from Teeks. Oh, you use this ability. There you go. Oh, I don't think we can get up there yet. No. I think that jump is too high, yeah. Some mushrooms. Um, hold on a second. We'll go in there in a second. I want to, what's over here? Oh, this okay. This has to be it. Oh my god, okay. Okay, she really does have style. Are you gonna play Romancelvania for Spooky Month? What is that, Cookie? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Stay vigilant. Ramaya might be home. On that, you would be correct. I believe th uh, that is far enough. We need a soul stone to save our friend. We're going in. Then we are at an impasse, for I am bound to serve the mistress and undeath. She resurrected you from your ashes? Who are you? Generations ago, I was known as Duke of Entry. That is all I can remember. I am now but a wandering spirit, forever lost in longing. Despite this cruel fate, I am blessed by ignorance as to what uh, became of my beloved family's mansion and of the good people of Lucent. But I digress. The spectral chains that bind me to the mistress beckon. Holy fucking staff. Please understand this brings me no joy. On guard. Is it a romance, uh, like a vampire romance game cookie? Okay, so I'm going to start off with a lunar shield because why not? And I didn't get any of the timing right there. It's fine. Going for the sunball. Bam. And I shouldn't have done that yet. Big Moonerang here. Big Moonerang. Here we go. Come on. Ah, oh, that was good damage though. So, it's Castlevania inspired very horny dating sim. So, platform meets dating sim with hentai level horny. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know if we'll play that on stream or not. Probably not a good idea. Or maybe it's a perfect idea. I don't know. All 
Alright, so... Uh, our combo meter's not full yet. Shit. I was hoping it would be. You bonking me? Alright, we can do, um... Oh, wait a second. Wait. I thought they had a... No, they were both with Garl. Shit. Okay. I want to try this again. So you do it at the peak of her jump. Oh, we got him. Nice. Alright, that was a pretty easy boss fight. Like a mini boss almost. I believe the mistress, mistress would rather not lose her bodyguard. You may pass. But before you go, may I have a word with the blade dancer? Your speed is impressive. Have you ever tried leaning into it more fully? Here, let me show you. Oh, is he gonna learn a new ability? Zell learn combat skill dash strike. Hell yeah. Thank you for the insight. That's bound to come in handy. As expected, you are a natural. Safe journeys, young ones. <laughs> what a nice what a nice bodyguard. <laughs> Let's go up here first. Hey, what's up, Ev? Oh god. Of course the first message you read is talking about hentai hip level horny. It just happens. It happens, alright. What do you got for me here, Cookie? This is one of the characters you can date. Oh my god, that is not what I expected. It's a big titty pumpkin. What the fuck? Ah, that was bad. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna do Crescent Arc on Zombie Man. Right there. Missed it again. Surprise. Sword and sun damage that hits all enemies. Oh, wow. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to make sure he doesn't chomp us. I love how they attack their allies. Nice. No lightning strikes, please. How goes the day? Pretty well. I'm exhausted from this weekend, but other than that, well. I'm gonna have to get on a flight in like six hours. More than six hours, but not very many more. Uh, I, I don't think I, I did not get very drunk. I got a good level of drunk is the best way I could explain it Because like it's like you got a but like what happened was you get a buzz. Okay, cool Then you'd go and like do pictures lose your buzz and like repeat that process over and over again But it was a good level I'd say uh, Well, no, it's not middle of the night it leaves at 6 a.m. But we have to be at the airport like 4.30-ish. Uh, this is a puzzle. Um, I don't know what those mean. Maybe we come back here later then. Someone write that down too. Oh, come on. I'll, I'll send you, I'll, I'll share pictures in Discord whenever we go to the Grand Canyon and stuff. It should be pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I've never seen it. We've never been there before. All right, into the Necromancer's Lair.
Come back to puzzle and graver with multicolor drawings. Yes. So that's two return. We need gems and figure out what those uh those drawings mean. Alright, into the necromancer's lair we go! And we found Ramaya's hairpin. What is that? Is that a key item? Teeks might get a story from this. Oh, nice. Oh god, wizards. Alright, that's a... Uh, no, it's a regular Lonzon. We have a Nermo, Nermoth Wizquard and the Golgol. Man, I don't know when to hit that damn button. Oh, I got it. I don't know when I when the right time to press that was, but I got it. Not too bad. Nice first encounter. This place is a little creepy. What are you doing there, buddy? I'm uh, just sitting there, huh? Okay. Oh, it auto attacked. I wasn't ready for that. Got a bone. From the bow man, Zelda's are so easy to uh, time compared to Valir's. I can, yeah, I agree with that 100% already. Well, like Moon Ring is easy to see when to press the button, but yeah, the rest of it's I, I don't I have no idea when to do or other do right now. Oh, uh, we probably have to chase those three skulls down. Are they gonna be like and they're gonna turn into mini bosses probably? Yep. Did the music just get really loud for everybody else? I'm like jamming right now. Hold on. Turn that down a little bit. Oh, let's set up camp. I want to get uh, that new story from uh, from Teeks. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. We'll probably learn about Ramaya. The Three Sisters. Let's read the story. It is said that whenever twins are born on a solstice, fate fl itself flips a coin. Their innate magic would either be incredibly heightened or corrupted into something that ought to be contained for the greater good. For generations, many solstice warrior twins have accomplished great deeds, but despite their immense potential, could never ascend into guardian gods. For ascension requires one of the winter, one of the winter and one of the summer, but kindred souls are not meant to par uh, depart for eternity. On a particular, particularly warm summer solstice, Fate's coin landed on stage and triplets were born. As the great eagle's instincts indicated, it soon became apparent that mor morality had split itself in three, as if to see their innate magic expressed in distinct flavors. Because their actions would inevitably drive them far away from one another, they were given annoyingly similar names, Moyara, Yamara, and Ramaya. Moyara was flown to Moon Cradle, where she became a formidable solstice warrior and Zenith Academy's headmistress. Ever the stalwart protector, Moy Moyara, gave her life while leading the charge against the Dweller of Strife. Yamara was the neutral one, better known as the Crone of Song Shroom Marsh. Living a secluded life, she's an observer of the distant future, offering cryptic insights on key events and looming threats that may or may not transpire. By age 5, she had correctly predicted that the Fleshmancer would leave if the Dweller of Strife were defeated at the cost of Moyara's life. Despite her immense power, she remains impartial in all conflicts. Meanwhile, Ramaya devoted her every waking moment to studying what could be understood what could be understood of the Fleshmancer's ways, and developed forbidden arts of her own. Through her understanding of blood magic, she became the first necromancer and devised a way to trap souls within objects. One notable invention of hers is, is, is candles that never burn out, noticeably noticeable by Ramaya's signature green fire. That's where we need the green flame for the uh, skelly man. Through their extreme commitment to differing paths, 
Uh, the three sisters have prompted countless musings on the choice ones make in life. To live bravely and selflessly like Moira, and, and embrace an early death while fighting for a worthy cause, or to live a quiet and peaceful, albeit solitary life like Yamara, forgoing ambition for the sake of safety, but never discovering one's true self. Or perhaps to indulge one's self like Ramaya, the utter confidence in her ability to overcome any retribution she might face as a result of her corruption. Could the three sisters truly be a trick of fate, or the spiteful game of gods unknown? Or is it simply that, in our search for meaning, we sometimes mistake pure happenstance for prophecy? It's probably for the best that we shall never know. The end. I like Teeks' stories a lot. They're good. Alright, let's rest. Have I decided on a spoopy game since now October 1st? I have not! I have, um, Little Nightmares. Has anyone ever played those before? Apparently Little Nightmares are supposed to be pretty spooky. Alright, that's the first boss right there. I guess, or mini boss, whatever you want to call it. I guess let's go fight that dude. A revenant. I don't know when to press the button. Sunball it is! Um, let's try... Shiv. Don't know when that one is either. Oh shit, he's two-handing. Oh god, oh my god. Moonerang him. Big damn time. Come on, I want 25! Not 25. <laughs> Apples? Does anyone have any recommendation for spooky games besides Romansylvania? Uh, we're gonna just rest because why not? Okay. Bone. Oh, we need to swim over here. Maybe? Yeah. Their, their concentration faces are funny. Dude, I'm thinking Liza P would be incredible, Kenny. I really am considering playing that, and it's kind of spooky in its own right, right? Like, I don't think I'm gonna get jump scared necessarily playing it, which is kind of the point, but I think it, it would be kind of cool to play. But I know, she walks so casually because she's a ninja. I, I, I don't really press that damn button, it's really bothering me. I don't want to lay MP, that's yucky. I missed it that time. Yes! Doing it correctly! Oh, this is awesome. That's awesome. Nice. So little little nightmares and Liza P can both be on the list for spooky games. Little little nightmares is 100% a horror game. 
like a horror like thriller game where Liza P is obviously it's a souls like game but um it um has a spooky atmosphere Spectral cave. Upgrade. Do that. Go back over here. Dude, I'm an expert puzzle solver in this game now. Not that any of the puzzles have been particularly hard thus far. A hole there. Oh, that was a surprise attack. Come on now. Oh, they're too far away. We didn't die. With, uh, we, I don't think the wizard has attacked yet before. Oh, really? A heal? Whoa. Don't attack Zell. Oh, I, oh my god, that's a lot of freaking damage. We need, we, we need to get out right now. Still, oh, yeah, he healed what I forgot. I fucked up. Oh, someone's gonna die. Oh, well, nice. I shouldn't have did that, but it's fine. I should have actually... Um, used the healing healing ability from Zell, which would have gave us the co double combo, which we could have done mending light and healed everybody up to full. But whatever, it didn't work out that way. It's fine. What the hell is going on with those? Oh, the Graplu. Press circle to throw the Graplu. It can attach to grapple points, enemies, and climbable surfaces. Oh. We have a grappling hook. Oh, nice. Wait a second. Oh, we can't get back over there yet. It's probably on the way out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it is Metro. It's, 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 we're, we're going with this. It's Metroidvania as well. So that is going to allow us to cross over here now, I think, right? Nope. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, that is freaking sick, actually. That was so cool. Let's do it. Venom Flurry! Oh, I missed it at the end there. There we go. What is back here? Hey, we got a rainbow conch. Hell yeah. Wait, 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 we didn't fight the boss over here yet. Where would that boss be, though? Oh, across the center there. Dude, that is sick. That was also probably a bad idea, but it's fine. All right, waste of a heal. It'd be funny if heals hurt undead enemies in this game. That was not good. Oh, he's gonna dance. You're gonna bonk me though, aren't you? Nice. Ow. Big sunball here. Oh, he's dual wielding. No idea when that's that timing is. It's a lot of damage. Hey, there we go. So once we finish the area, we'll go back and look at, the, try to figure out what we're supposed to do for those other two puzzles. That was convenient. I guess it's good that we went right first. All right, let's take a rest. Also, we can cook now. Make some more roast sandwiches. All right, on to the third and final Skelly Man. I love doing that. That's awesome. Okay. The 
cooking animations always make you hungry. They're very satisfying. I think you press it at the top right there or at the end. I missed it right there, obviously. Still don't know when to do that one. Can't even see her. I'm just guessing. Oh well, it worked out. Okay, it opens pathways up too for you. Dude, puzzle solving. Oh, an Osseus staff. Signature weapon of warriors long past. Upgrade. Oh, food. Moon Kill Fish Pie. Mm. I wanted it. <laughs> Surprise, Mr. Wizard. One of these days. There we go. I may look at a video to see how to do that properly. Because it's really bothering me that I'm not getting it right ever. It's not great. Um, all right. Gonna start with a moonerang. <laughs> Zell's standing right in front of it. It's fine. Not bad. Oh, I fucked it up, and that hurts now. I'm not getting that one right now. Almost leveled up. So focused. Probably should have healed. Just grooving down there. Damn it, I don't know what it was now. 
Bubble time. Got it. Oh, it's gonna be a heal probably, yeah. What's up, Grave Robber? Grave Robber, uh, welcome to the stream. This this section was full of many game members while running Artful Gambit. I don't know what Artful Gambit is. The game's a pretty good difficulty level right now, though, for me, in my opinion. Only thing I'm using is the uh, little star thing to tell you whenever you get the combo correct, which I didn't get correct there very well, but it's fine. But how's it going, Grave Robber? How you doing tonight? Or in the uh, or this morning, depending on where you're at. Welcome. Glad you're here. Okay. Moving on. Lots of bones to collect. And you are going... Oh, I just opened the path up now. So, we're back here, but do I want to be... Uh... Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, have you been doing an FF7 challenge run you posted in your Discord earlier? Just unlock Sid, aka Dragon Man. Hell yeah. Uh, what is the challenge run you're doing, Ev? Doing good. It's a relic that reduces HP by 95% and blocks make you only take one damage. Monsters are immune if they have blocks active. Every party member has only like five to seven HP. Oh, that's kind of cool. I um, I don't, I don't know if I have that relic or not yet. It might be. Is that like a new game plus thing, or do you get it early in the game? So if you're basically just recreating a class system in FF7, restricting who can use what. Oh, I kind of actually think that that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Give me an example then. Of like what kind of what what class is Cloud then in your playthrough? I assume Tifa's monk. That, that one seems pretty easy to guess. Cloud could be warrior, I guess, or uh, no fighter maybe fighter. Sid obviously is a dragoon. I guess Yuffie could be a, would be ninja. Barrett would be machinist. I'm sure there's a different name for that in the older games, but I'm thinking of uh, 14 right now. Alright, do I want to jump off right there? I can use the wizard to get across right here. Hey, level up! It's a late game relic, but relics carry over into new, new files, it seems. Not a new game plus file. Oh, I gotcha, okay. So if you finish the game and you have all the relics and you start a new game, you have all your relics from your first playthrough, gotcha. That's actually really cool. So you essentially are doing a challenge run, I guess then, Grave Robber, that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, you're gonna get physical defense because you they love hitting you for some reason. Hey, Garl still levels up even though he's sleeping right now. Um, go ahead and get a mana point. Uh, what do you want? I don't know. You have really good magic defense right now. Maybe we go... I'm sorry, ma... Mm, that's magic attack. Okay. I think you hit a little bit harder. And then, of course, Zell, you're going to go for magic attack. Okay, so hold on. If it's not on the sheet, they can't use it. Let me look at the sheet. Oh, I have to request access. You can throw it in Discord, Dev. I'll look at it later. 
So yeah, you have the difficulty because you use storytelling amulet on first playthrough just to see the game. Gotcha, great, Robert. That's cool. On a scale of 1 to 10, Grave Robber, how would you rate the game? Did I want to do that? Yes. Shit. I don't know when to press the button for this. <clears throat> you all did play Golden Sun as a kid, if you've heard play that. So Grave Robber, um, I don't know if Kenny's here right now, but someone actually made that reference to Golden Sun before for the game. I've never played it before. I've heard of it, but never played it. Oh, you fixed it? All right, I'll check it now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Cloud is Mystic Knight. Gun Barrett is Knight Gunner. Tifa's Monk. Aerith White Mage. Red, Red 13, Blue Mage. Kate's is Summoner. Yuffie's Time Thief. Vincent is Black Mage. Sid is Dragoon. Yuffie is Time Thief? Really? Huh. That's actually really cool. That looks like a really fun playthrough. So Golden Sun's a pixel turn-based RPG. Uh, was up your alley so you check this out and you loved it. Are, are you saying pixel turn-based RPGs were up your alley so you check this out and you loved it? The music art are so good. I agree. The music and the art are so good in this game. Uh, Kenny, so someone else was talking about Golden Sun. I know you brought it up before. Uh, you made a copy of your main save state. Wanted to clean up some stuff on it so far. Yeah, nice. All right, Zell, what are you doing? You're gonna hit a wizard. Uh, sure, we'll play Golden Sun. What uh, what did Golden Sun come out for? Was that a uh, what was the console that was on? I missed every single button press there. Oh, Game Boy Advance. Okay. almost instant replies everyone knows wait the originals on the switch online store really oh wow then i would definitely want to try it out then not that we couldn't try the original gba version also but if it's on the switch store hell yeah just making sure i'm not missing anything down here So we still have no insight into the other puzzles we haven't solved yet, uh, outside the Necromancer's lair. Alright, wizard's gotta die first. Press the frickin' button. So much damage. Really? He would freaking help you. Not bad. I missed that one. It's fine. Um, go ahead and attack. Oh, shit. Ow.
and I missed the button. All right, good night, sweet prince. That second button presses real quick. Come on, Zell, get back up, buddy. There he is. Missed it again. Hell yeah. Big heal, though. There we got him. Whew. If you didn't have the cards, you'd probably be subbing up for Switch Online again. Yeah, there's, they're actually adding a lot of good stuff, I agree. Have. The Retro Online subscription service, Switch having... Yeah, the Super Nintendo uh, N64 GBA and GBA games, right? Yeah, I'll have to take a look and see if that's on there. I'd be down to play that at some point, though, for sure. I've heard good things about it. Golden Sun, that is. Okay, how do I get over here? I see loot. I really have no, we, we probably have to drop down onto that. Walk along the side. Of the bones. Oh. Oh, no. Why can you jump down right there? That's weird. Oh, wow. I would have never found that. And this is it right here, I'm assuming. Wow, okay. Thank you. Revenant armor. Thank you, Grave Robber. Down here. No, nah, I think we are good down there. We're good up here, I think. You remember Golden Sun being teased for release on Switch Online? Don't know if it actually released it. Don't have sub anymore. See, so gotcha. I haven't looked at Switch Online in a long time. I'll have to check that out. Though. I'm curious as well. All right, this is the center room. Yeah, so that way is open now. Um, let's go down here, down here and heal, and then and also cook. And then we enter Ramaya's lair, I guess. All right, we have room for three things. Uh, we have plenty of. We're almost actually running kind of low on meat and fish. Um, let's make. Two or oh, two of these. And we'll make a mushroom scramble. Because we do get um MP back from using that. Alright, so if you're new here, I do a YouTube break every hour, and this is time it's time for a YouTube break. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sea of Stars. Next time we enter Ramaya's lair for real. So I'll see you then. Peace.